Hey, it's Ubu, and today we're playing Unsorted VHS by Mike Klubnika. Klubnika, however you say that. You can find the game on Itch.io, and I paid $2 for it. I have my camera in a different spot today, so I need to get used to looking at it, and I hope it looks alright. And um, before we get started, I'm going to read the description of the game and what you can expect from it. Unsorted VHS is an atmospheric puzzle horror game. Sort through a box of miscellaneous VHS tapes, retrace your steps, and figure out how you got here. Everything is interlinked. Don't you remember? This game features five unique VHS tapes, hands-on tactile approach to found footage horror, narrative with an emphasis on details and visual storytelling, and modern retro aesthetic. All right, that sounds pretty cool, huh? So, another thing I wanted to say is thank you all for uh, watching my videos and all of my subscribers. I really appreciate appreciate you very much. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> I can't talk today. But anyways, yeah, I have some games lined up that look pretty cool coming after this. Um, I want to continue my Resident Evil 4 remake playthrough that I never finished, so keep an eye out for that sometime in the future. I'm not sure when. My cat is saying hello to me in the middle of recording, of course. Here's BB. She wanted to say hello. Anyways, sorry about that. I guess we'll go ahead and get started and uh, not keep you from waiting much longer. You wake up hanging from a ceiling. A box of VHS tape sits in front of you. You pick up a tape. It softly quivers in your hand, the label reminding you of a distant memory. Suddenly, you hear a strange voice. Play the tapes. Find out how you got here. Everything is interlinked. Don't you remember? Eject tapes at any time with G. If you say so. Say we can look around. Ooh, okay. Oh. Ooh, look at that. Yeah, I really like the concept of looking through, like old boxes of VHSs and, and looking through them. Kind of like that movie VHS, if you haven't seen it. The first one's pretty good, but... Um, I guess we'll start with this first one. F to inspect tape. Mountain... Mountain View Primary School. Okay. Wow. Oh. All right. Okay, let's go. I cannot sprint, at least not yet. Okay, this is an odd way to start. The blaring school bell in our ears. <laughs> okay. What's this? Alice, do you want to go play at the cabins after school again? It's so fun. I just realized that you don't... Don't... That you don't poof to the cabins that are already open. This will change the game of tag forever. I just realized you don't... Poof to the... What does that mean? <laughs> Did I just... Is that a... Is that a typo? Like, what's going on with that? I can't see down the end of this hallway, so... I don't know what to do. Okay, I guess we'll just um, eject the tape. That's an odd way to start. Okay, let's go with the second one. We're building like a whole story here. Oh. Whoa. Okay. That is a very serious radio tower. Okay, the door's locked. Alright. Yeah, the concept of this game sounded great, so... I figured we'd try it out. So far, it's interesting. Not much has happened, obviously, but... Hope I don't miss anything. Because you'd think maybe I'd be able to go in this house. But that does not look like 
what's happening. <laughs> Go look at these, like, maybe these are tree stumps or something, or strange rocks. Hello? And I cannot sprint. Oh, I just hit invisible something. Oh, there's a rock there. I can't see it. The shadows are so dark. I don't understand the giant tower coming out of the house. That's crazy looking. Okay, there is an invisible wall. It's almost has like a liminal space kind of feeling to it. Very strange. Okay, well I guess we'll eject the tape because nothing's happening. Oh yeah, let's um how do you look at it again? Cabin anomaly investor briefing. I wonder I didn't think I read the last one. What does this say? The looker. Okay. Scepter Foundation. Yep. Okay, I can't read that. The Cabin Anomaly. Investor Briefing. Nature of the Anomaly. Teleportation. Instantaneous travel between two locations without crossing the intervening space. Like Goku. <clears throat> okay, so it goes in one cabin and he can come out the other. Is that even a person? The unmarked location, a branch of the cabin anomaly. One of the six cabins seems to be missing. It is unknown how to enter it, as none of the cap... Okay. I couldn't read all that. The symbol, a precisely traced symbol in the center of the cabins. The material is extraterrestrial. One part of the symbol seems to be pointing towards the... Okay. Unmarked... Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six. It's like a spider web, what it looks like to me. This concludes the investor briefing. Very interesting. Okay, I guess we take the tape out. All right. I think removing the tapes, like putting them in and out like that, kind of gives it a kind of an immersive feel. Security room. To be honest, I'm not really sure what's going on. Okay, something has to do with Scepter Foundation. Oh, a helicopter. Look at that. This reminds me of one of those Resident Evil movies that was terrible. Insert di Oh, God, there's a person here. Hello? Are you okay? I can't see. It's too damn dark. Insert disc. Oh. Oh. Okay. I see what's going on now. There's a shotgun here, too. Can we get that? Oh, okay. It's a slip of paper with a bunch of anomaly security index codes written on it. The cabin, unknown vessel, the foggy wavelength, no eyes, infinite well, red mist, the looker, the blood is dry. Okay, maybe we need to look at that again another time. Oh, here's it. Oh my god. Okay. They give me chills. Sure, what that was, but okay, okay. Index one thousand or whatever, ten thousand one, one hundred one, whatever you want to call it. Enter the access code to retrieve the oversight key. Okay, I'm trying to close these. That was so weird. Okay, the cabin anomaly. Uh, 
Right. Enter access code. Retrieve override key. So, I find this interesting. Maybe we should go back to this tape and see if there's something there behind this tree. Which would be near the front door. I don't know where else we'd find this access key unless I'm I'm overthinking this. Look around here a little bit. Okay, I don't know what that giant shadow man was. That was that was pretty weird. All right. <clears throat> So I believe it's the second tape, the looker. Okay, so here's the front door, right? It was like this third tree. Oh, well, I found a key. Hmm. Maybe it goes to the house. Do I have an inventory? No? Okay. Let's try the hatch on the back side of the house. Aha, it worked. Okay, would it kill them to give us a flashlight? Good lord. Screw you. <laughs> Aha, a flash of light. That's exactly what I wanted. Thank you. <laughs> Let's go. Ooh, hello? <laughs> Where are you? It's almost like we're going between these tapes to solve the, I guess, the mystery of the game, which is actually really cool. Whoa, this is like a server room. This looks crazy. Right click to zoom. Okay, Alfred Raphael. Okay, George Booker. From to George Booker. Okay, George, I'm sending this to you from the looker in the hope that it does not find me here. Put the cabin anomaly on full lockdown. Hell, if I were you, I would put the pulse sonar down. The high level security access code is 4142. I know this is coming out of nowhere, and I'm not a one authorized for this, but you have to trust me. I'll try to make my way to you. Ooh, this is neat. So 41, 42, don't be behind me. So it's like they're able to communicate between these places. Where I, I guess I'm technically watching VHS tape, so I'm more or less watching the events of people communicating between these locations, if that makes sense. <laughs> I don't know. That's a lot to think about. Okay, let's put this one back, and then go here. 41, 42. We need to find the disc again, which is here. Let's see if that shadow of man would appear again. Uh, use number keys to input code. Okay, so for... One, four, two. Overriding lockdown. Index whatever reverted. Okay. Uh, um, is it okay. <laughs> now what? I assume maybe we. Okay, let's, I guess, <clears throat> go to the next tape. A very bloody tape. The Cabin Anomaly. Hmm. Ooh, look at the night sky. I don't have a flashlight anymore. Bring your kid to work day. Wow. I have a metal detector, I guess, as you walk it. Oh, hello? <laughs> okay, it's locked. 
Observatory. Let's go. Okay, it beeped again. I don't, I don't like that. There was no one there, but... Oh, no. Oh, okay, now this door is open. Or, it's not. Never mind. <laughs> hey. Oh, oh. A key. Don't mind if I do. Okay, whatever, you troll. <laughs> Come this way. Just kidding. <laughs> Weak. I can't close the door behind me. An elevator. Well, it's some sort of observation facility. Oh man, I hope I don't have to do any math. That'll be embarrassing. Unmarked location. Five to the tenth power equals this. Possible combinations. So there's like nine million combinations of something of this. Um... But wouldn't it be like to make these lines like line up, wouldn't that be what it is? Maybe not. There's one, two, three, four, five, six. Anyways, let's look over here first. Oh. Oh, that's really spooky. That light is blinking down there. Most of the financers are simply not interested in the unmarked location, and if I'm being completely honest, it might not even exist. Our best option right now is to try moving one of the cabins. It could prove to be a revolutionary way of transport. I'll assemble a team for Tuesday. Uh, okay. How does one move a platform or a cabin? I'm smashing buttons, nothing's happening. Do I sit down? Beep boop, beep boop, beep boop. Do I go out there? I don't know. Asking a lot of questions here. Oh, here we go. Where am I? Who am I? Okay. That's not safe. To have... <laughs> like, what floor do you want to go to? Oh, you're there. <laughs> I was like, okay. Please be aware of stuff flying around in the air. Please be aware of the following guidelines when working with the cabin anomaly. Do not, under any circumstances, leave objects inside of the cabins. This may cause fatal injuries upon teleportation. Close the cabin doors upon exiting them. This is the maintain the interior of the cabins. Failure to do so may damage the integrity of the anomaly. Employees must conduct teleportation research one at a time. See guideline number one. Failure to... Failure to follow these guidelines will result in contract termination. Oh, no. Uh, um, okay, so here we are. Big rock. Oh, I don't like that. So what, we just go into one and then see where it takes us? Okay, so it, it put me at number two. So if, say I go to three. It took me back to one. So one goes to two, three, goes to one. Let's see what four does. Four takes us back to one. Okay.
that's that's odd. Let's see what five does. Five takes us back to one. Um, that doesn't make a lot of sense to me. But what exactly am I supposed to be doing? I have a weird idea. What if I leave one open? And then I go into one of these. It took me to two. It took me to two. Okay, let's do that. Let's leave them open. Even though it said not to do that in the guidelines. But if they're all open, then... The only place to go would be the last cabin, right? And maybe that won't work, but we're going to try it. <laughs> Let's do it. Okay, so we're going into five. Oh, ho, ho, we did it. Ew. What the hell is this? Are we inside of like a brain? Or some kind of... Well, okay, it's gone. That's not, that's not good. What this? Okay. Freaky alien note laying on the stump. <laughs> Whatever that was. <laughs> Looked like the radio tower was like pointing to cabins, more or less. Oh. Hello? Oh. What's happening? Boo. Uh... It's like mannequin aliens. <laughs> Alien race of mannequins. We are all the same. We are equal. Okay. Now we're back at the cabin anomaly and there's blood and darkness all around us we're walking really slow hello I can't get on the dangerous elevator oh my god is that a person or like a a baby or something Oh, it's the VHS. It's, it's the room we're in. Oh. Oh, no, they got us. I think. But who was recording at the end? I don't know. The contents of these tapes are very familiar. They remind you of a place similar to this one. But how do you expect to return? You watch them over and over again. The friction between the VCR head and the tape wears out the plastic. They grow brittle and eventually break. All that's left are distant memories. Created by Mac Kublinka. Kublinka. Sorry, I, <laughs> I won't say it anymore. I, I can't say it clearly. Thank you for playing. Thank you for making the game. Okay. Very interesting experience that was. Um, I'm not sure what to make of the end, to be honest. It's almost as though it's some some kind of loop. Like I said, you, you watch the VHSs forever and ever until they finally end up, you know, be getting brittle and breaking. You try to remember some kind of extraterrestrial event that happened at, I guess, the facility facility you worked at. And I'm not sure what we were at the end, if we were one of the aliens, like, walking slowly, menacingly. And then it showed, I guess, maybe us, like, strung up in this room with wires, you know, in front of the TV where we were watching the VHS tapes. So it was at that facility the whole time. Very fascinating. I like it being cryptic. It doesn't need to be completely spelled out for me, because 
I think extraterrestrial stories work really well when there's a lot to think about. Then it's very it's very unnerving and very unsettling to think about what extraterrestrials could think of us and what they might have in store for us. It's very disturbing to me. Uh, if you really, you know, think about it, you know, that's just the way I think about it. Anyways, overall, I like the concept of sitting in a room, you're going through this box of VHSs, and you're kind of piecing together some sort of memory or event that you're trying to, to solve, I suppose. So once I figured out that you can, basically the, the gameplay loop is to like jump between each tape when you need to like solve something. Uh, like I like that you can see the picture in like the fourth tape of the trees in the second tape and you go back to the second tape and there's a key to get into the basement. I think that that concept is actually really cool. And I would like to see more of that in this in this style of VHS uh, found footage. I think it would work really well um, because I thought this did pretty well, you know, on its own. Anyways, I think back now to the first tape when we're in school and there's the note about meeting at the cabins for like playing tag or something. So maybe we someone we knew was like abducted or went in one of these cabins and was never seen again. I just now thought of that. Anyways, like I said, the concept is very cool. I like the found footage, sorting through VHS tapes, and there's they're also interlinked with how to solve puzzles in one tape, you have to go back to another, and vice versa. I think that's a very interesting concept, and I think it could be very much expanded upon um, in a different theme. Maybe not extraterrestrials, maybe some other kind of theme. I think that would work really well. So I would like to see um, where this developer takes this sort of style and um, where they go with it, because I find it very fascinating. I think maybe it's a little uh, too slow to start with, because I, I don't know. I just think there was nothing really going on. There's there's not a lot that happens in the game, but I do like the mystery and the atmosphere. I think it's very strong. It is supposed to be more of a visual storytelling style of game. It's not supposed to spell everything out for you or to you know be like action packed or anything like that. It's basically exactly as it's advertised. So no gripe there really. I'm just saying for my own personal preference. Anyways, I think for my final judgment, I would say this game is good. And then I recommend it. Go check it out on Itch.io, and I'll leave pin comment links in the pin comment below <laughs> for you to go check out. And like I said, it was two bucks, and I think I think it was worth two bucks. Um, yeah, and I like to support uh, any devel any developers like this as best I can, either with my constructive criticism or with you know a few bucks here and there. Anyways, tell me what you think in the comments below. Do you like this game? Do you like games like this? Do you like found footage? And would you like to see more games like this from this developer or others? And, and if you are familiar with games like this, where you're sorting through VHS tapes, kind of solving a puzzle or whatnot, uh, let me know. I'd like to check them out. Yeah, so leave your thoughts in the comments below. I'd like to hear them. Anyways, uh, also, if you enjoy my content, hit subscribe, like, comment, share, do all that fun stuff. I'd really appreciate that. Yeah, I'm having a good time doing this. Um, I've been doing this basically almost a year now, and it's been pretty fun. So I'm hoping this year has a lot in store for us. We can grow the channel. Have a lot of fun, play some cool games. I'm hoping for some big games to come out this year. We'll see what happens there. And um, yeah, I guess we'll see what happens. <laughs> Anyways, uh, that's all I have to say about it. So thanks for hanging out with me, and I'll see you in the next one.